What do you think the story of the baseball season is right now, John? I think, Rich, to me, we are seeing the Red Sox and Yankees back to their customary position as as the big two in baseball. Now, certainly the, the Astros are there, the defending World Series champions. Their record is basically the same as, as the two teams in the American League East. But it's taken me back now. 15 years, basically, to the to the to that time right before the Red Sox broke the curse that we're seeing the Red Sox and Yankees sustainably being arguably uh, the, the two best teams in the game. Again, they, they've both sort of been on the stage and away from the stage based on their mini rebuilds, and the Red Sox have had some boom and bust cycles where they've been a World Series team and then gone back down to the bottom of the division. But I think now we're seeing those two teams back, along with the Astros, as being the classes uh, of the American League. And, and I think, too, we've got a, a number of great young stars, Rich. We, we talk a lot about where we're at as a sport, uh, and Mike Trout gets better and better by the year, and, and where maybe those next baseball icons are coming. To me, they're here. They're, they're, they've already arrived in Trout and Nolan Arenado. Bryce Harper's numbers are down a little bit this year, but still I think uh, the superstar quality is there for him. And this next generation of players we're seeing come in, Ozzy Albies and Glaber Torres with the Yankees. Uh, it's just, it's a really, I think, a really exciting time to be a fan of the National Pastime. Well, yeah, and then you you have the defending American League MVP and Jose Altuve just lighting it up again for the Houston Astros. And uh, let's hit on Trout a little bit here. Mm -hmm. Our show is uh, uh, every single day broadcast on Angels Radio here in Southern California, KLAA AM 830. Um, and Trout is as great as ever. As great as ever. And Pool Holes in his dotage uh, on occasion can put the ball out of the yard. Otani, what an unfortunate turn of events right. it's been for him with his injury. But where where do things stand in year one million of the Mike Sosha era for the Angels, John? Well, it's, it's a great question, Rich, because they're at a spot now where the A's, as we speak today, have now tied them for third in the American League West. They have been a little listless since Otani's been out, I think, as a team. Trout, again, brilliant as ever, but collectively they've had some injuries now with the pitching staff as well, Garrett Richards being on the DL, Zach Cozart, a really key member of their everyday lineup, he has been out as well. So the A's, with a lot of youth and momentum now, have caught them, and, and they're still seven games back of the Mariners for the second wild card. So the chances of Trout getting back to the playoffs now, he's only been there once in his mm -hmm. entire career, the chances of, for Trout getting back to the playoffs now are, are getting slimmer by the day. And I really think, Rich, for, for us, the, those of us that follow baseball every day, we see, we see how brilliant Trout is. But I think for him to take that next step as being not just the best player in baseball, but American sports icon, he's got to get back to the playoffs. He has played three postseason games it's in his crazy. career, and he has won none of them. And I think that until he gets to that level again and has success, that to me, we talked about Jeter a moment ago, the magic of Jeter, yes, a great player. He's going to the Hall of Fame. But part of his legend was he played for the Yankees and he won all his World Series rings right at the beginning of his career. He was there every time we ever turn on our TVs in, in October, he was there. And Trout hasn't been there. And I think for, for the sport to have that iconic player in Trout, he has to get there at some point in time on a consistent basis. Well, I mean, you could, in terms of certain metrics, best numbers in the history of the yes, game yes yes through 1000 right. career right. played games for mike trout best ever i mean we're you're right i don't even need to go down the list of people who have played Correct. baseball he's the man he is the mantle so of our how, time how has it not translated into october visits and wins then it's a great point and it really i think it's been inconsistent pitching for the angels for a long period of time they've had some near misses they've had some quality teams that have just fallen just short including last year where they were really competitive to the very end but it's it is a it's been a difficult story, I think, for baseball to wrap its mind around how a player mm -hmm. this great can be on a team that doesn't make the playoffs. And that's where I think it's fundamentally different. We talk about the comparison between LeBron and Mike Trout. LeBron is in the playoffs every year. He's basically in the finals, at least in recent times, every single year. And, and the NBA is a sport where one player can exert that level of of influence on the entire team and dominate a game. You know, if you're watching LeBron play, mm -hmm. you're probably going to see him score 25 a night, no matter what. With right. Mike Trout, he may go 0 for 3 on that particular night, and one player in baseball cannot will his team to the playoffs in the way that I think LeBron James can. Well, my kids know him. I mean, my kids dig him. They, they know who Mike Trout is, and mm -hmm. hopefully, but they live here in Southern California. The Honda Insider Report with uh, J.P. Morosi, John Paul Morosi of uh, MLB Network and Fox Sports joining me here on the show. And yet, again, you mentioned they're they're within an area code, right? Uh, for sure, uh, along with the A's, of that second wild card spot, where all you need to do 
is go on the road and seemingly, I think what you're going to have to do, beat a 100-win team named the Red Sox yes. or the Yankees. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.